Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best fuzzers to use on web applications. And I really have two that I really like. I used to use GoBuster and I'm starting to move away from that and I'm gonna show you why. So let's go ahead and check these out. So the first one, as many of you already know, is I really like to use Fuff. And I have already opened up stream.io. So we'll go and check this out. So the IP address is 10, 10, 11, 158. And if we run this, you can see it starts to run, it pulls back some of the stuff, but I believe if we come up here and we say slash index.php, we can see that this is running PHP and without adding in your own extension into Fuff, you're not able to fuzz with the PHP extension. So I would just run GoBuster just like this and we'll come back, delete this, 10, 10, 11, 158 and we can delete all of this and because this is HTTPS right here sometimes GoBuster really gives you some problems and you have to run this with a V host like this and you'd run dash URL and then you'd put stream.io in here but that does not work on this box so we are going to run it like this and we get this error right here which is seriously a pain to try and figure this out. Every single time I need to run on HTTPS or you're trying to run on some kind of vhost, it always gives some problems and I hate trying to debug it. You can get it to work eventually, but it does always cause problems. So I actually started using Ferrobuster. And if you read a, a lot of walkthroughs by OXDF, I think is what he goes by, he uses Ferrobuster a lot. And so I wanna go ahead and show you Ferrobuster because not only can you add the dash X PHP for the extension up here, it actually does directory recursion, which I used to have to use a derb in order to do recursion if I wanted to. And Ferrobuster is way faster than derb and allows me to look for extensions. So it takes those two tools and puts them into one. So because we're running this right here on this HTTPS, we are going to have to add, and now I'm remembering what was going on up here. We can add this dash K in order to accept the, I think it's the SSL cert, and it doesn't tell us, but I'm pretty sure that is what it does. We'll go ahead and check out buster-help and see, let's check out this dash K and it disables the TSL certificate. So we're gonna have to run the dash K like this because we're running this HTTPS right here. And I got ahead of myself, we need to specify that that is the URL. And we want to run the extension PHP with a word list of user share word list derb slash, and we're gonna use common txt. And we can run this and it will start running for us. And we'll, I'll show you in a second when it starts going through these actual directories. And you can already see how fast it's going, but I actually wanna run this with streamio.htb just like this. And we can run it that way and you can see that it's gonna pull down a lot more because we're actually using the URL instead of the IP address. And GoBuster wouldn't allow us to do that. And you can actually see right here, it found this directory and then went into the next directory. And so it runs this recursion, which can be really helpful. And with the speed that Feral Buster goes, it is really fast. So what I'm trying to say is I think Fuff and Feral Buster are my two favorite fuzzers at this point. I still like to use Fuff because it goes really fast. I, I also like to use Fuff for subdomains if I need to brute force for subdomains. And then Ferrobuster if I need recursion in going through directories or if I need any kind of file extension on my fuzzing, which is pretty common. So with that, let me know your favorite fuzzer or maybe you like Fuff and Ferrobuster as well, but you use them for different things. And I'd like to know what you use them for and what extensions or flags you use down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.